know how long your pieces take to make as an artist maker. This is a little challenge I like to set my students and I can tell you that most of them hate it. I ask them to keep timesheets, running timesheets, on how long their pieces take to make. And the reason that I make them do this is because we cannot price our work correctly unless we know the actual time that it takes us to make those pieces. Because is this you? I ask you, how long did this piece take to make? And you'll go something like, oh, I worked on that for about a week. And then I'll go, yes, but what does a week mean? Does that mean that you worked seven hours a day on it, five days a week? And they'll go, oh, well, it was probably a couple of hours a day. And then when I actually ask them to time it, here's what we discover. You go into your workshop, you sit down, you start to make a piece. Your phone dings. You go, oh, there's a message or an email. You look up that message or email. That then means that you're now checking your emails. Maybe you're spending time responding to somebody. Maybe you have to go away and look something up. Oh, look, now all of a sudden we're surfing online, wasting time. Maybe we're doom scrolling TikTok now. And then we go, oh, well, we'll have a little break for a while. and We'll go away and make a cup of tea. Then we come back after a cup of tea and we sit down at our workbench again and we start to make our work and we do about another 10 minutes. And then something else happens and we get interrupted again. And the cycle starts over again. And we're doing this, 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 this and this. We're not actually making the piece we're supposed to be making. When I actually ask you to time your work and that week of work turns out to be two hours of making, it can be a real eye opener. On the other hand, I've also worked with people. I have to say the people who resist this the most are fine artists that absolutely hate timing their work. But what I find with them is that they're charging too little for the actual total amount of hours they're actually spending on their painting, illustration or drawing. In fact, I worked with one student who discovered that his drawings were actually taking over a 100 hours each. And with the prices that he was charging initially, before I started working with him, he realised he was charging around £4 an hour. There's two sides to this coin and this is why I really would like to challenge you to go away and time your work. Time everything. We really need to have data behind us to know how long our pieces actually take to make so that we can price them correctly. Would you like to discuss that? Let me know in the comments.